Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about best hero pairs for open field battles, which simply means PvP against enemy legions. Of course, um, I will mention every single legion type, archer, mages, infantry, cavalry, flying and some PvP uh, marches, which are still good uh, if you have not spent any single dollar just like me in the game. Uh, first of all, I will start with archers because, because I'm an archer main and I, mo I simply more specialized to speak more deeply about archers. Uh, the best uh, archer open field PvP hero pair so far is, uh, it's pretty easy to understand, it's Syndrion and Freygar. Uh, we only, before Syndrion and Freygar, we had only one type of archer uh, in the game which was uh, Nico and Ginara which is like more skill damage factor type of archer in the game uh, but after the Syndrome and Freigar came out it's a auto attacker normal attack damage critter uh, which means like you are just standing still you don't care you you much don't care about the rage like your main idea of dealing damage is through normal attacks uh, and especially if you have uh, Syndrion Awakened and uh, like, yeah, if you have uh, Freigar Awakened, that will be amazing. But at least Syndrion, it will be uh, like one of the best damage dealers in, in general in Call of Dragons, uh, especially after long range warfare, whenever we have the same range as my Mage Legions. Um, other than that, for archers, I think uh, the Legion Nico and Kinara is very overrated. Uh, that's a Legion type, uh, Legion I'm, I'm running currently for my Marksman uh, Legions, and that's the best uh, hero pair I have currently, because I have invested every single tokens on my Kinara. And I think uh, defense break and reduction of the defense of the enemies is really an um, underrated skill. Uh, I Sometimes I like to hit infantry, sometimes I like after the long range war, Warfare, of course, mages are uh, like uh, deleting on the map, especially if I'm fighting against same power level player like me. Um, I have a 35 million power currently, uh, and I have spent zero zero dollars in this game, and somehow I managed to get six million merits mainly on uh, Nico and Kinara hero pair. So I would I would uh, put uh, Nico and Kinara one of the best free to play um, hero pairs, especially for marksmen, and I think in general. Uh, for the mages, uh, that's uh, quite tricky uh, because in season T1 we have already Bertrand and Tohar and generally whenever you are, uh, whenever new hero pair comes out in the game, uh, that hero pair is the best one currently for that legion type. But it's not the case uh, because Lilia uh, from the day one has been uh, the best damage dealer, um, like hero in general uh, for a while and still uh, she's the best simply because of the Scorch. Um, uh, whenever you are hitting uh, enemies with Lilia, you apply Scorch around and Scorch is dealing uh, like uh, ticking damage. Also with Infernal Flame, even like if you are playing Lilia you need to have Infernal Flame. Same for Syndrome and Gold Crest, right? But Infernal Flame is giving you more Scorch, uh, especially if you are Tier 5 player, you are just melting a lot of Tier 4s, or in general, uh, during wars, uh, whenever there is a lot of Legion around the map, that Scorch is dealing huge amount of damage. Uh, still, um, like... Uh, Lilia and uh, Welin is the best uh, mage hero pair currently in the game, even with the Bertrand and Tohar. Uh, and like, if you are not uh, investing in this game and you have spent zero dollars just like me, uh, you would be running Walder, right? Walder inst instead of Lilia. And Walder and Welin will be your uh, first and main march. Uh, just only for mages. Well, it's really, really easy to aw awaken Walder uh, simply because you are getting a lot of uh, epic tokens in the game. And uh, like, I will awaken Walder won't gonna have much of a damage because it's an epic hero, but at least you are getting additional hit target on the awakening skill and you will be dealing damage to the couple of legions nearby. Uh, so far, uh, we have Lilia and Dwellin and Sandron and 
and Freigar, the best marches, uh, so on the open open field, battlefield. Now it's time to turn to the infantry, which been like uh, the revolution in my opinion. Before infantry was not much used, but in season T1, uh, infantry is uh, being played as uh, one of the most fun uh, gameplays in the game, and the my, like simply because of the newest heroes which is Goresh and Skolgul uh, that's the uh, one of the best hero pairs in general uh, for the season T1 uh, currently in the game uh, Goresh and Skolgul um, really mobile uh, dealing a lot of damage also having quite a high counter attack rate uh, whenever you are getting uh, Tohar and uh, Skolgul awakened both with the spirit uh, bone torque uh, this new artifact for Tohar will be uh, taunting five enemy legions nearby which is already amazing uh, right it's more a defensive type of artifact defensive stats on a both uh, metrics i think i awakened uh, goresh and uh, skolgul and i have seen they are alive uh, for a long long time especially if you are playing uh, as a tier 5 player if not um, uh, well uh, like in general we are speaking about the best open field marches in the game and uh, like for the free-to-play uh, players uh, change like if you don't have Goresh uh, if you somehow got lucky and got Skolgul because in general uh, Goresh, uh, Sindrion, both of the heroes uh, you like free-to-play players can get them only from the strongest lord which is taken by pay to players and one more chance is to get uh, I, I, on the season ending rewards uh, that's actually from where I got Sindrion which I was really lucky and I actually got Goresh too uh, so I'm a zero dollar spender so, and I have Goresh and uh, um, Sindrion, so you 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 still have to get lucky in order to uh, have a best uh, open field uh, marches in the game. Uh, the in, for infantry like free to play march, in my opinion, the best one should be like still Madeline and uh, Garwood. Uh, that's the two uh, free to play uh, one free to play march for infantry, which can, which can be useful because in general, if you are not uh, main uh, maining the infantry legion uh, you would you would not have a couple of infantry marches right like if you are uh, infantry main you have goresh and skolgul if you are using infantry for only tankings and darklings or uh, doing some forts madeline and garwood will do its job uh, it will be tanky enough to tank every single darkling around you until your command points will be high in terms of cavalry well, uh, cavalry have been the, one of the weakest legion types in the game, and much have not been changed still. Uh, Bakshi and Emerys, Emerys or Bakshi, that's the hero pairs, uh, hero pair which have been the best one currently. And I have my own consideration. I think uh, uh, Theodore is quite amazing, uh, but there is not a, the best type of um, uh, hero pair for Theodore. Of course, some people are using Forondil, Theodore and Forondil. Uh, some people are using uh, emery and foreign deal uh, so there is not like a direct one chosen hero pair for theodore it's been used in a different hero pairs and generally uh, i really like these stat lines of the theodore you are receiving way less damage to yourself and uh, like i think people are underrating the hp reduction uh, skill on its main skill which is 30 percent so you are dealing a huge amount of damage with Theodore. That's why I will uh, put Theodore as this lonely one, uh, in my opinion. And for the free-to-play march for cavalry, I think Emery and Bakshi is even more free-to-play uh, friendly because you can get tokens of both heroes from the gold keys. Uh, that's why, um, like, there's another plus why Emery and Bakshi or Bakshi or Emery will be cavalry tier one. But yeah, we I have to put uh, Theodore here uh, because. Because I think in the future there will be a better hero pair for Theodore and Theodore will be number one in the end. Uh, for the flying type of uh, hero pairs, well, as always, uh, Thea should be here. She, Thea is the best used uh, flying hero in the game. And of course, whenever we are speaking about flying uh, hero pairs, we need to mention every single um, uh, faction because the, every single faction has different uh, type of uh, flying unit let's say man the best one in my opinion is like uh, bertrand and uh, 
Astia. Uh, that's the newest hero currently, and I think newest hero is the best suited to play only on Celestials. That's why I think uh, Bertrand and Thea uh, will be the best flying uh, hero pair in the game. Uh, of course, if you are playing with the Wilderberg, we don't have much of a flying uh, legendary hero pairs, but I think Craig should be here, and of course, the last one is Forondil. I think the best flying hero pair is Bertrand and uh, Thea, uh, with the skill talent tree of the Bertrand and Celestials. The second tier will be uh, Craig and Thea. I, I would put Craig as a, a primary hero, and the uh, least good one is uh, Thea with Forondil. Uh, in general, I think um, uh, that would be the best way of uh, introducing. Uh, uh, best open field PvP marches. I think one last thing which we are missing here is using uh, Hosk, and I think Hosk and um, Kinara should be uh, like this uh, because Hosk and Kinara, if you are spender, that's the one of the best marches for marksmen in general. You are tanky enough, you have a lot of counter attack damage, your legion capacity is more than anybody else uh, because that's the host skill you are getting uh like if you don't have host and you are just uh, as a free to play player just like me i would be using uh, like nico and uh, ginara uh, that's my main hero pair but in general if we are speaking about the best open field marches in the game uh, i think uh, hosk and uh, ginara should be there with syndron and Freigar. and in general i think if you are marksman player season t1 should be a lot more fun for you uh, because of long range warfare i have been saying from the day one that it will be much much better than mages and slowly people are understanding that long range warfare have been the best thing which could happen for marksman players in general uh, tell me your opinions, so, like in general, uh, hero pairs and discussions are always good for me. Um, uh, tell me if I made some mistake, maybe you think that I'm right or you have a different ideas. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you are liking the video, um, I hope you are liking the content I'm trying to make. Um, like, uh, in general, the positivity and the likes and the comments which I'm receiving uh, gives me more and more motivation to do more uh, content for this game. I hope everybody will have a great day, morning or night, wherever you are. We are going to see each other very, very soon. Bye-bye and good luck.